गाइस चैप्टर ट्वेंटी टू गाउस लॉ क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन नॉट प्रॉब्लम नंबर सेवन इट्स क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन वी हैव अ डायग्राम आल्सो लेट मी रीड आउट द क्वेश्चन फिगर शोज फोर सिचुएशंस इन विच फोर वेरी लॉन्ग रॉड्स एक्सटेंड इनटू एंड आउट ऑफ द पेज we see only their cross sections the value below each cross section gives that particular rods uniform charge density in micro coulombs per meter the rod the rods are separated by either d or twice d as drawn and the central point is shown midway between the inner uh, rods rank the situations according to the magnitude of the net electric field at that central point greatest first so we have a situation here we have some rods like this and rod like this here like this here like this so we have multiple rods four rods in each situation uh, this rod is having a charge density of 3 plus 3 micro coulomb per meter okay micro coulomb per meter and this one is having plus 2 micro coulomb per meter this rod is having a charge density of minus 2 micro coulomb per meter and this one is having a charge density of minus 3 micro coulomb per meter separation between the rods is either d or uh, twice d so th this must be d this is the smaller separation this here again must be d and this must be also d remember rods are either separated by d or twice d so these two are closer to each other so this separation must be d and these two are at larger distance from each other so this separation must be twice d but question tells you that this point is the midpoint the central point is the midpoint between these two rods so this must be half this must be half so this is d this is the so that total becomes twice d then this is again the smaller distance one so this is also d same goes here this is d this is d this is d this is d same exactly what we have done for situation 1 this is twice d here twice d and this is d this is also d so that these two rods are at a distance of 2d then this is also 2d these are separated by larger distances so twice d same here this is twice d this is d this is d and then this is also twice d now from this chapter you must be aware uh, of the field due to a uniformly charged wire or uniformly charged rod field is no no this one field is equal to lambda divided by 2 pi epsilon 0 r lambda is the line charge density and r is the distance between the two so lambda is e is directly proportional to lambda divided by r okay e is directly proportional to lambda divided by r so now let's uh, see what do we have here i'll call this rod 1 i'll call this rod 2 and i'll call this rod 3 and i'll call this rod 4 same goes with other situations rod 1 is positively charged so its field at this point must be radially outward so this is the direction of the field due to rod 1 so e1 i'll call this then rod 2 is again positively charged so its field will be also radially outward away from the rod so i'll call this e2 then rod 3 is negatively charged so its field will be radially inward so towards the rod okay towards the rod so e3 is also this way then fourth one is again negatively charged so its field will be also towards the four, fourth one radially inward so we have field like this e4 so all the four fields are in the same direction So net field will be simply sum of the four. Okay, net field will be simply sum of the four. So net field in the first case, in the first case, I'll call this A E A E A. This is equal E one plus E two plus E three plus E four. I'll just write the proportionality lambda divided by R. Okay, lambda divided by R. So for E one E one, it will be plus three. Lambda is plus three. Uh, just three just the magnitude three divided by distance is twice d from here to here d plus d is twice d 
So for the uh, first rod, it is uh, 3 divided by twice d. Okay, 3 divided by twice d. Then for the second one, lambda is 2 and distance is d. So plus 2 divided by d. Okay. Then for the third one, uh, lambda is 2, just the magnitude, okay, just the magnitude, 2 and distance is d. So again, 2 divided by d plus 2 divided by d. Then for the fourth one, lambda is 3, lambda is 3 and distance is twice d. So plus 3 divided by twice d, okay, 3 divided by twice d. So Ea is proportional to twice d LCM so we'll have 3 plus 2 into 2 is 4 plus 2 into 2 is 4 plus 3 so uh, 3 plus 3 is 6 6 plus 4 is 10 10 plus 4 is 14 14 divided by 2 is 7 so EA is proportional to 7 divided by D so this is for the first case EA is proportional to 7 divided by D now let's go for situation B okay let's go for situation B now for situation B First rod is positively charged, so its field will be radially outward. So E1 is rightward. Second rod is negatively charged, so its field will be leftward, radially inward. So this is E2. Third rod is again negatively charged, so its field will be radially inward towards the rod. So E3. Fourth rod is positively charged, so its field will be away from the rod, radially outward. So its field will be E2, uh, E4 this way, away from the rod, leftward. Now, 1 and 4, 1 and 4, lambda is same, plus 2 and plus 2. Distance is same, uh, from this point to this point, twice D, and here again, twice D. So this lambda is same. Distance is same, so field magnitudes of 1 and 4 are same. But 1 and 4 are in opposite directions. So they will cancel out, they will balance each other. So 1 and 4 cancels out. Same goes for 2 and 3. Charge density for uh, uh, 2 is 4, charge density for 3 is 4, magnitude and direction uh, distances are same, D and D. So lambda divided by R is same for both of them, but directions are opposite. So E2 and E3 cancels out. So net field is 0. So net field is 0. So for situation B, net field is 0. Net field is 0. And for A, situation A, field is proportional to 7 divided by lambda. Okay, 7 divided by D, not lambda, D, 7 divided by D. Okay. Then uh, for C, for situation C. Again, first rod is positively charged, so its field will be radially outward. So E1 this way, away from the rod, rod is here, away from the rod. Rod 2 is negatively charged, so its field will be towards the rod, this way E2. Rod 3 is positively charged, so its field will be away from the rod, radially outward. So E3 is this way. Rod 4 is positively charged, so its field will be away from the rod, radially outward. So it's going to be this way, leftward. So E4 is also leftward. Now let's compare 1 and 4. 1 and 4. Lambda is same, 8 and 8. Distance is same. Uh, this is 2D and then this is D, so 3D. Uh, from this side, this is 2D and then D again 3D. So uh, lambda is same 8 and 8. Distance is same 3, lam uh, 3D and 3D. So lambda divided by R is same. That means field must be same. Magnitude wise 1 and 4 has same magnetic uh, electric field here. Magnitude wise same. But direction wise they are opposite. 1 is rightward, 4 is leftward. So they will cancel out. 1 and 4 cancels out. Then we are left with 2 and 3. 2 and 3 are in the same direction, so net field will be addition of 2 and 3. So net field, this is for situation B, is proportional to, we'll again go for proportionality. Lambda, remember, it is proportional to lambda divided by R. So for this one, it is 2 divided by D. We are just taking the magnitude. 2 divided by D. And again, for this one, it is 2 divided by D. So 2 divided by D plus 2 divided by D. So EB is proportional to 4 divided by D. Okay, ED is proportional to 4 divided by D. So ED 
no, not C, it's C. EC is proportional to 4 divided by D. 4 divided by D. Did I write D here? No, I did. I wrote B. This is for C. Okay, situation C. Then let's go for the D, the last one. For the first rod <clears throat> is negatively charged, so field will be towards the rod, E1, radially inward. Second one is positively charged, so field will be radially outward, E2, radially outward, away from the rod. Uh, second one, uh, third one is also positively charged, so its field will be also radially outward, radially outward, away from this rod. So it will be left, uh, leftward, this is E3. Last one, fourth one is negatively charged, so its field will be towards the rod. Towards the rod, E4 is going to be this way. So, uh, let's again consider 1 and 4. 1 is having charge uh, uh, density 6 and fourth one is also having charge density 6. So, lambda is same. Okay, lambda is same. Then distance is 2D plus D is 3D. On this side, 2D plus 3D uh, is 3D. So, d lambda is same, distance is same. So, field magnitudes must be same. 1 and 4 has the same magnitudes of the magnetic field, electric field. But they are in opposite directions. E1 is here, E4 is here. So, they will cancel out. E1 and E4 cancels out. Then we have 2 and uh, uh, 3. Okay, 2 and 3. 2 is having lambda 5. Four, uh, 3 is also having lambda 5, so lambda is same, distance is also same, D and D, okay, distance is also same, so R is also same, so lambda by R is same, field magnitudes will be same, but direction wise they are opposite, so uh, 2 and 3 also cancels out, so nothing remains there, so net field is 0, so for D, situation D, net field is 0. Now we have to rank them according to the magnitude of field at the central point. First one, mag electric field is directly proportional to 7 by D. Second one, it is 0. Third one, it is 4 divided by D. So, A is greater. 7 divided by D, D just, this is just 4 divided by D. So, A is greater than C. Then, B and C are equal to 0. So, A, E, A. Let me choose the white one. E, A is greater than, E, A is the greatest. Then, we have C. So, E C greater than E C is greater than E B equal to E D and both of them are 0. So, greatest electric field at the central point is for A, then for C, then for B and D that is equal to 0. Is that fine? That will do for this session.